Hello, Geminis. I'm going to look into your situation. So this could be love, finances, career, psychic development, just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Let's see what the story is. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Six of Cups reversed. We have the Five of Cups. Sorry, my camera needs to focus, so just give it a minute. Kind of goes in and out until I put all the cards down. We have the Two of Cups. So I'm kind of feeling like, hmm, let's see. Someone you've already let go of is wanting to come back around. Now, this wasn't easy to let go of this person. I feel like they just took way too long. Like, you felt like this was a little bit of your life, but it's like they just took too long to get it together. Like, this could be someone that, you know, left and you always figured, like, we're twin flames, we're soulmates. Like, I know they're going to return, but they just didn't. It's like you were in this Eight of Swords energy where you were, like, depressed, you were upset. You know, there is a way out. Like, you could have, you know, stepped out of that, that energy. You know, Eight of Swords, traditionally, it's like someone that has all these swords around them. And there's an opening right in front of the, their face, like right in front of them to their home, their castle, their true love, everything they could want. But it's almost like you wanted to wait in this Eight of Swords energy. It was like some kind of cycle that had wrapped up, but it's like you wanted to wait and see if this person would return. It's like you didn't want to get out of bed. You didn't want to deal with it. You wanted to see if they would return, which makes sense. I mean, you really did love this person. So, I mean, I'm getting that this was not easy for you. I'm getting a lot of, like, heavy depression, a lot of a lot of made intense pain here. Like, this was not easy for you to let this person go, you know. And, and Six of Cups reversed, it's like you were nostalgic for a long time, and then eventually you got out of this nostalgia. You know, you stopped idolizing it. I just feel like they, maybe they, some of them might have done something so bad to betray you that it's like you just wanted so badly to go back to the past. But it's like you couldn't really ignore what they had done. You know, it was like there was no going back. So you just felt kind of stuck like you were in limbo for a long time. I feel like it was really hard for you to let this person go. You know, they have the five of cups here. It's like she's he or she is watching um, the ship sail away. It's like they're not running after it anymore. Like they, they know it's they know they're losing it. It hurts, but they're letting it go. And I feel like. You know, you're going to be getting a love offer from this person, possibly, for some of you. It's But you've already let them go. You've already moved on. And you're going to need to use your judgment because they're going to come to you telling you that they've changed, that, you know, they know you know, they know a lot of time has gone by. They, they want to see if there's potential here. Um, they want to pick up where you guys left off. This could be, I'm getting for someone, this could be someone that was in prison. Like, this is just for one, but like, this, that specific message is just for one person, but I'm getting for someone here. It might be someone that was actually, like, like, in the military or in prison or somewhere where they just could not be with you, but they did want to be with you. Um, you know, I'm getting there was some kind of painful separation, some kind of unexpected ending, like a tower moment here. Like, this was not easy for you. This took all the strength you had in you to let this go and move on from this. It might have taken you a really long time to move on from this, too. It could have taken you years or months, you know, to move on and to, to go forward. And now that you're really moving on and letting it go, this person wants to pop back up. So we'll see what's going on with that. And it could be male or female. So if I say she and you know it's for you when you're a male, then please just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's there's no specific gender here. You know, there's it's just energies. There's no genders here. King of Cups. Temperance. Sorry, bear with my phone. It just does that while I'm putting the cards down, but then it will adjust after I've set them all out. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting like the energy of unexpected quick communication. Yeah, like a love offer here. Page of Cups. Like a love message or a love offer. Some kind of quick, quick communication. Some love message it looks like. Page of Wands. Yeah, passionate love message to passion and emotions. Um, hmm. What else do we have here? 
magician. For some, this person's been trying to manifest you back. Like they've actually been doing magic to try to get you back because they want to build with you through the pentacles. Nine of pentacles. They want, you know, they, they want to, it, it, I feel like this is like a relationship where you guys both put a lot into this. So they want like the reward for that. Like they want, like they feel like they, like they're, I don't want to say owed a reward, but they feel like they just, you guys both went through a lot together. So they don't want to give up on it. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Hmm. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting a very strong love message, love letter, love a uh, love offer here. You could be getting an actual physical letter from someone that's in jail for the for whoever that was for that was dealing with that that particular situation. Hmm. They're trying to restore balance in this connection. Like they're trying to come to you as the king of cups. I feel like they used to be a king or queen of swords. And now they're coming to you as a king or queen of cups. Like they're coming, they're taking a more emotional, intuitive, trying to take like a more mature uh, approach to this connection basically is what I'm feeling. And you need to find balance. Well, you know, temperance energy here. Don't get caught up in the moment because some of you with this message is really unexpected. Like you felt like this person was never coming back around. You felt like it was long over, um, which confused you because, you know, at the time you felt like that was like your true love. And you're like, well, where did they go? Like, why would they just leave me like that? You know, and it's like they wanted to go explore and, and see what else the world had to offer. For some, but like, like I said, for some, they really had to leave. Like it was like jail or prison. Or, um, military or something of that sort of like a new living location, you know, it could have been a number of things, but now they're wanting to come back in, but you need to use your judgment here. You need to be balanced with this temperance energy and really question this, you know, because it might be very, um, they, they might come at you very intensely. Like, I don't feel like this person's going to half-ass it. I feel like this person's going to just pour it all out. Like you're going to get like a drunk text or a, a drunk call from this person and you're going to get like a message on like social media, like Facebook or something or Instagram. Like you're just going to get someone like just pouring it all out. And some of them have literally been using magic to manifest you back, but others have just been kind of stepping into their power and just deciding to manifest you. You know, they want to build with you, you know, but you need to, this person could still be a frog for some of you. There's mixed stories here. So you need to be honest though. You know, because like, yeah, it could be wish fulfillment, but it could also just be a frog. You need to kind of be honest with yourself. Look at it objectively. Like, look at like, look at how it really is. Don't try to repaint this person's colors, you know, because it took so much for you to move on from this person in the first place. So, you know, when you get this message, you really need to not be too hasty with it, you know, because some of you might get really excited. Some of you might get this message and you might be like, okay, let's dive back into it. Let's do it. You know, because this person might take a very emotional approach. They might really come to you as this king of cups trying to find this balance. And you need to use your intuition because for some of you, this offer is legit. Some of you do want to take this offer. Some of you, this there is something here that can be rebuilt. You know, some of you can restore this damage and you guys can rebuild together. But for some of you, you can't. And so there's a couple different stories here. So you've got to use your intuition here to decide. Because I'm just getting that for some of you, it's, it's, it's no bueno. And for some of you, it's, it's good, you know? Um, you know, King of Cups, it's just, yeah, there's lots of energy here talking about a love message and a love offer that you're going to be getting. And then it's, it's very unexpected, I think. I think that you haven't heard from this person in a long time. So I think that you're really, it's really going to kind of shock you a little bit. That's the energy. I mean, they could decide not to, but I feel like they probably are going to come back in. That's what I'm getting for most of you. But, you know, only take it if it resonates. You know, it's either your story or it isn't. But they've been trying to manifest you back with the magician energy there. They want to build with you. You need to be intuitive, like I said, and really decide, though, if this is something you want to do. Because it's like, like I said, you know, yeah, you guys really loved each other. There was a lot of passion, a lot of emotion between you two. But when they left, it really broke you. Like, you really... You know, I feel like you went through some major depression, some some dark night of the soul energy. It took everything you had to move on from this person. Like you felt like this was like your true love. Like you were not the same. This person marked a before and after period in this life. Like this this heartbreak, this betrayal, this them leaving, even if they had to leave, even if it was like a situation where they, they really had to leave, like they were in jail or something. 
it still broke you, whatever the situation was, whether they betrayed you or not, it was still absolutely heartbreaking. So you got to kind of decide, like, can you risk going back to that? You know, after you've rebuilt, after you've, it's, you take, it's taken you so long just to, to move forward in your life, you know, you really need to do some shadow work and go inward and not be too hasty accepting this love offer. You know, you really need to decide if this is right for you again. But yeah, they're wanting to build with you because they want, you know, they want to re restore this relationship. They want to rebuild with the Three of Pentacles and the um, the Nine of Pentacles here. It's like they really just want to, you know, they just want to rebuild. Let's see what else is going on. The tower, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a tower moment for you where you're like, dude, I thought you were long gone. Like, I thought, like, what the hell? Like, this is like a message out of the blue where you're just like, uh, what? Like, I haven't talked to you in two years. What do you mean you've always been in love with me? You know, it's like that kind of energy where you're like, what the hell? Or like, <laughs> or like someone's like getting out of jail. I keep thinking there's like one specific person here that's dealing with someone that's in jail and it's like this person gets out of jail and like, you think they're going to move on because it's been so long that they've been in jail and they're going to come back and try to be with you. It's going to take strength because like I said, you need to be mindful. You need to really think about this. Can you afford, you've spent so much energy trying to rebuild your life. Can you really afford to go back to this? You know, and there's different answers here. There's no, it's not like there's a right answer for some of you. It's yes. And for some of you, it's no. You know, I'm getting mixed energies here, but for some, it's like you need to protect yourself and protect your finances and let go of the burdens. Show me what else you need to know about this. The Fool. Some of you have a new start with, with finances and success and abundance and career and also with love. Three of Cups. Yeah, some of you might have multiple options here. Some of you might have another option that's come in or coming in. Or they could even have multiple options too. I could also see this as like someone wants to have it all with you. Like they want to have fun. They want to go out. Maybe some of you were like very like sexual together and they want that kind of experience again, like having threesomes and that kind of thing. Um, Ten of Pentacles is like abundance in all areas of life, especially finances and career. So it's like, I could see this as this person wanting it all with you. I could also see this as being like a new start for yourself where it's like you might have a couple different options here. Yeah, you just, you're being called. I think your spirit guide just kind of wanted to let you know, like, hey, don't be shocked if you hear from this person that you haven't heard from in a while. Um, and don't be hasty. Like I said, it was like a warning there. Don't be hasty because some of you are going to be so shocked that you're not going to know what to say. And you're just going to be like caught off guard. And so you're going to be like, sure, we can meet for coffee. And you're going to be like, damn it. Why did I agree to that? Like you're going to, you know what I mean? Like you're going to get caught up in the moment. Like you're going to get so excited that this person finally said something to you that you might just kind of in that moment, forget all the pain and all the heartbreak and cheating and betrayal and whatever else they did to you. Like you might just in that moment, just romanticize it and think about how it used to be or how it could be or what you wanted it to be. You know what I mean? And, and you're being called to be logical here, to be in like a king or queen of swords energy, to step back and think about it. Read the message too intuitively. I'm getting like read between the lines. Like you know, figure out if you're being gaslit or if this is actually like a genuine love offer and a genuine apology. Because like I said, for some, it is genuine. For some, this actually is, there is potential here, but for others, there's not. There's, there's two different stories here. So, and this is kind of a challenge for you to use your intuition too and listen to the red flags and listen to the green flags as well. So it's like, you gotta, like, you'll know. I feel like you'll know. You know what I mean? But you have to like not get caught up in the moment. You have to read the message too. I'm getting that there's like almost hidden messages in this message. Like there's going to be certain things that you're going to want to look at. Like um, like the way they talk. Like you're going to, like you might get like a vibe that they're being fake. Or you might feel like, wow, like they're, maybe on, on like a positive note. It might be like, wow, they're finally being real with me. They're being honest with me. Like, you know, 
Really look at the message, look at the whole thing, look at, feel the energy of the message, the way they're wording things, just all of it. Like almost, almost like go into the psychology of the message and just don't be hasty. Don't just dive in out of loneliness or because you've missed this person, you know, because you, you know, remember what they put you through and remember, find that balance between positive and negative. Find that balance between, you know, the pain they put you through and the heartbreak and what you wanted it to be, what you wanted to happen between you two, you know, find that middle ground and that balance, you know, try not to be too biased. Try to, try to just step back and, um, I'm hearing like get a second opinion for some, for some of you, not for all of you, but for some get another opinion. But, but yeah, don't get caught up in that moment because it's like you re you spent so much energy rebuilding your life from this person. So you really need to decide if you can do this or not. And if you can't, it's okay. It's your choice. You know, you got to really be logical here though. The world, the emperor. Yeah, this, this emperor is not wanting the, um, this to wrap up this cycle to wrap up. He's not, he or she is not wanting this to wrap up and be over. It's like, it's almost like there's unfinished business here. It's strange because for some of you, you haven't even heard from this person in so long. And it's like, what are they doing coming back around? But it could be like a karmic cycle. Maybe you saw them like last fall or something. Like they come around around the same time each year or something like that for some of you. I'm just feeling like maybe it's like there's something like maybe something like nostalgic about the fall that's reminding them of you. But it's like you're being called to not look at the emperor. You're being called to look elsewhere and look like... Use your own intuition and make this decision. Don't be swayed by what he says or what, what she says. You know, don't be swayed by the message. Like, read the message and, and intuitively analyze it. But, you know, also step back and think about the offer and think about if this is something that you could do. Because it was such a battle for you to get out. Like I said, such a battle for you to get out of that energy and to move on. You know, you really have to defend yourself, defend your integrity, defend your your finances, defend your job, your home, to just protect your energy. You know what I mean? Like keep moving forward and, you know, make this decision. But it's just, it's just saying, don't get caught up in the moment, you know, like you can decide to go forward. Don't get me wrong, but you need to step back and make that decision and make sure it's something that you can really handle. Yeah. Lots of decisions to be made here. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, because you don't want to go back to hitting rock bottom and like getting off your path and like not being interested in hobbies or career or anything else that you got going on in your life because you have a lot of good things going for you now or you're starting to have a lot of good things going for you now. So don't throw that away for somebody that might put you back in Ten of Swords energy, you know, and you guys never really healed from this connection. You know, you never really healed. You never had that closure. So for some, it's like it's it's not over till it's over. It's like it was never over for them, you know, or it was never over for you. Three of swords, five of swords. Yeah, you do have to be careful. I mean, I can't stress that enough. You have to be careful. Okay, I'm just going to get two more. Two more. That's it. Okay, one more. Yeah, it's like they want to rebuild. They want to, with the star energy, they have hope. They want to get out of this period of silence with you. They want communication. They want to move forward. They want to rebuild. I keep hearing rebuild. Like maybe some of them want to have like a business with you. Like they want to rebuild a business with you. Or like maybe you guys had certain goals that you guys were working towards. Like you were working towards saving up to get married or saving up to like buy a house together or to do certain things like travel the world together. And they want to get back on that path. They want to get back on track and, and do those things with you again. They want to work towards those goals with you. So just a major energy of rebuilding here. So, but yeah, you're being called to, to really step back, use your intuition and make a logical decision because you cannot risk going back to how to to ten of to three of swords, ten of swords energy to, you know, to losing everything that you've worked so hard to build for yourself. Okay. Be logical here. Be, be balanced, be intuitive. Um, be honest with yourself too. Um, but yeah, that anyway, that's, the, that's the story I'm getting here for this, for, you know, the 15th current energy. If you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is dragon at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video, so you can just copy and paste it. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It adds up quickly. My donation links are also below in my description box below the video. 
Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, please like, you know, if you feel like maybe someone on your page needs to hear this message, please share my videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Have a good day, everybody.